What's up everyone, Ryfex here. Today I'm going to teach you how to have multiple instances and windows for OBS multi-platform. So, um, first you need to go to your file explorer, which is a little folder there, and then go to your local disk that has your operating system on it and your programs and all that stuff then you need to go to program files x86 make sure you have of course OBS multi-platform installed it as well and and then go down here to OBS studio this OBS right here is the original the first OBS program that came out but for this we're using OBS studio and then you want to go to bin and then in bin you're gonna have a 32-bit and a 64-bit if you're using 32-bit um, Windows program uh, Windows then you're gonna to want to go with 32-bit but if you're using 64-bit I highly recommend you go with the 64-bit uh, OBS multi-platform. Then scroll down here and you'll find OBS 64-bit. Now what you want to want to do is you want to create a shortcut. Create shortcut and it'll say this. Do you want to you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Say yes and then now you have this shortcut here so as of this point you just need to exit out of that and then now you want to right click on the program go to properties and then now it should right here it should go to like shortcut automatically if not you just have to go to shortcut like that and you'll see this target right here now what you need to do so you could have two windows of OBS side by side which I'll show you how to do in a second all you have to do is at this um, at this end area just hit space bar then negative which should be on your number pad like right on the end above the plus sign and then type in multi and then click apply then click OK and now then now click this and look at that you have that one then you can click it again oh and now we have another one hooray so I'm pretty sure you're kinda of figuring out how this is gonna work correct so the way I do this uh, infinite screen go to scenes and then you can change it to that I'm not sure why my game capture is not showing up here oh this is probably why okay let's just pretend this one's this one <laughs> so yeah I'm pretty sure you're understanding what's going on here so for this screen here this is going to be my recording settings so all the settings I showed you in my previous videos um, for recording you're gonna want to copy all that for um, this profile well you need to make a profile first I just call it YouTube for recording this is going to be straight for recording and make sure you have your scenes set up for your certain recording like like this like I have my name here and then now since you have a, probably a new profile you're going to go to, to settings and set all this stuff up like I had um, showed you on the previous video and 
yeah that'll be this window and once you're ready to record start recording just click start recording for this window and then for streaming um, make sure you have those uh, settings copied for uh, again in the previous video and of course make sure you make a new profile like for this one I have restream and it's just going to be set up for for streaming and then I have different scenes right here I have for twitch alerts and window capture now for window capture um, let's try add pretend I don't have that there and we're gonna create window capture one and I wanted to capture well just like it says here window OBS 64.exe but as you can see here it is showing like the scenes, the sources, and all that stuff. So un the unfortunate problem here is that this is a little bit buggy so you will need a second monitor to make this happen. And what you kinda need to do is is put this this one you know, on your second monitor which you won't be able to see at this moment and then you want to put this one in in full screen mode which I did that backwards <laughs> like that now it's going to be in full screen mode right there now where'd the other one go okay there it is now I'm gonna move this back over here on this full screen so we can see what's going on so as you can see um, we're still stuck like this it's like some strange glitch that that seems to happen uh, with OBS multi-platform uh, it just won't show the full screen so n now uh, right click on that window capture go back to properties and then go to window and then you'll see obs.exe dot uh, obs64 you're gonna wanna click on that and it's gonna go to the full screen mode and then you want to take the uh, capture cursor off so it doesn't mess with with any of that and then click OK then of course you want to make sure your preview windows nice and perfect with what's ever going on in your uh, capture here and there you go it's press that stream button right there and you should be good to go but of course this does rec uh, need a second monitor in order to work so yeah that's how you could record at 1080p 60 frames per second and you could stream at 720p 30 frames per second or whatever you have it at uh, so yeah so that's my video on how to do multiple instances or windows in OBS. Hope that helped you out a bunch. I know it does require a second monitor, but it kind of a sad glitch in OBS multi-platform right now. Just came out. They're still working out the bugs. Hopefully they could uh, get that taken care of as soon as possible. But yeah, I hope this helped you out, and yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed that video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
You have five seconds to comply. Four, three, two, one. <laughs>